Almost everyone is doing sport and we want to build here a fitness app where you have different workouts and then you can actually do the same workout like the persons in these videos. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We want to get started here with this page of our design and we want to build here our line graph at the top where we have our statistic and below it we want to build all the exercises. To get started I have created here a home page and here inside within our scaffold we want to create a custom scroll view and with this one we want to actually put here at the top then our line graph. After it we call here this property slivers and here inside we want to actually create our sliver app bar and the sliver app bar contains this whole area of this red color. Therefore let's continue with our method and create here this sliver app bar. Within it we want to create first of all some actions. So we want to actually create here this icon at the end. So I have simply created here a simple icon and we also want to add an icon to the leading one. So at the front we also create an icon. Then we also want to set a title. So I set here simply a text. Then we want to call here this expanded because we want to expand it a bit so that we also can set here our line graph inside. I put it here simply to the height by 50%. So we simply take here the half of our screen size and we also set here the stretch to true and then it will look like this. Then we also want to pin this sliver app bar so that it is not changing. And we also want to center the title so then it will look like this. From our design perspective we have accomplished already a lot. The last thing to do is here to actually put the line graph inside and therefore you have here in the sliver app bar this property called flex space. And inside we create the space bar and then we set the background to our line chart widget which we want to create right now. Then we create this new widget line chart widget and here inside of the build method we create a line chart which comes from this plug in FL chart. So make sure that you put it here under your dependency inside of your pubspec jaml file. Here inside we set then the data of this line chart and Basically what we want to set here is some line chart bar data and here inside with the spots we can then basically define here all these points within our graph. Before we put here the points inside we also want to set the color for these points. So we set here a white color and then we set here our first point inside and you see we have here one included and you can also set another point and then you can also create all the other points of our line graph. And basically we have here every time the X coordinate and the Y coordinate. And like you can see we have here min and max Y. So here we have zero and here we have eight at the top and we have the same thing for the X coordinate. So we have here zero and also 11 on the right side. Then we also can increase here the line width and therefore we simply call bar width and put here a higher value inside. And if you like you can put here even a higher value inside than me. Right now we have here a lot of lines so if you zoom here inside you see we have these lines and also these lines which we don't want to show. And therefore we call here grid data and don't show the inner lines first of all. And secondly we also want to hide these data lines here on the side. And this is also what you can do. And lastly, you can modify this title data. And here I put simply a new method inside, which I have already created. And then everything will look like this. So here inside of this method get title data, we are basically setting all the titles of the bottom. And we also set here all the titles on the right. So here we have also these titles. However, I don't want to go into detail about this because I have created another video about it already, which I will link up in the description box of this video. Within our main file, we also can change here this color. So I use here a different color and I put here simply a primary color inside of this color here on the left side. And then you see that we have here a different look and feel. All right, we have already accomplished a lot. And the next thing which we want to look at is here these exercises at the bottom. So we simply want to display some exercises and later then we can go over all of these exercises and watch the videos. Therefore, we go again to our homepage and here in our slivers under our app bar, we want to build our exercises widget, which will then display all the exercises. 
Now we want to create this exercises widget. So I have created here a new file and here we have it inside. And then we want to actually have first of all a type. So I have created here an enum of low, mid and hard. So these are the different levels we have. So we have easy, medium and hard. And by default, we every time select here easy. So therefore I have put here low inside. Now we want to build this design. So we start here with some padding around and then we build this title and the different difficulty levels. Therefore, I create here first of all the sliver padding because we want to make use of sliver. And therefore I create here a sliver list and inside of it, we set then this sliver child list delegate. And here inside we set then first of all the title, which is our exercise. And this looks then already like this. So we have here our title inside and below we want to add the difficulty levels. So I create here a build difficulty level method and within it, we want to create a row. And here we want to build all these exercises inside. So basically we go over all of these values here and then we create for each individual one a button. Therefore, I create here a text widget and we also want to transform this type of our enum to a name. And therefore, I simply have here all the different names converted. So if we have, for example, low, then it shows easy and so on. And this name we simply put inside of our text and we also want to add here a different font style. So if it is currently selected our type, then it has a font of bold Otherwise it has a normal font size and this will then result in that always the selected one has this big font and the other ones not. Then we simply create here our text style and put here also our font weight inside and that's already a big step forward. And now we have all these exercise types next to each other and we also want to improve the design a bit. So basically we put here an expanded around so that all these exercises types get more space and then we also want to set here the center so that they are centered inside of the middle. After it we also want to set here around a gesture detector so every time if we click on one of these then we simply want to put the type which we have right now to this selected type and this will then update here at the top in our state our selected type. Lastly we also set here a container around to actually add some padding to the top and to the bottom. So I put here eight pixels inside and now we have here these different fields and if I click on them then they also will change their type. Like you can see we have already accomplished a lot and the next part will be to actually create the design of each individual workout. Therefore we go again to our build method of our exercises widget and here I create first of all some spacing and then we want to create our workouts. Let's create this build workouts method and here inside we create a column to display all these workouts under each other and then we go over our exercise sets which I have created. So these are all the models which we have here. So basically we have some exercises and for each exercises we have then multiple exercises. So I have here also created a model object and here we have then all the exercises inside with the video URL, which we later display. And if you want to have access to this whole source code, you can get this whole source code with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more advanced Flutter developer. So to sum it up again, these exercise sets have like multiple workouts or exercises and each exercise has then a specific video. And we want to display here now all the exercise sets and we want to make sure that the exercise set is here correct to the type which we have selected. So if we have selected here medium, then we only want to show exercises which have this medium tag inside. And therefore we simply go over each element and these elements have basically an exercise type, which is of type low, mid or hard. And we want to make sure that our selected type here at the top matches this type. And after it, we want to actually build all these exercises. So I create here a new exercise set widget. And here I put then the exercise set inside, which match this exercise type. Now we create this exercise set widget. And then we get here every time this exercise set with all the exercises inside. And we want to create then a container of a height of 100. So each item here inside has 100 pixels of height and here inside we want to set then this text of our 
exercise and we also want to set here how many exercises are there inside, how long it takes and also a small image next to it. To display all these information we put a row inside and then we want to actually create our text on the left side. First of all we want to get how many exercises we have. So basically we go over our exercise set and here inside we have a list of exercises and then we get the length of it and this is then later displayed here on the left side how many exercises we have and then we also want to get the minutes of our exercises and inside of this exercise set we have then this total duration method and this basically goes over all of our exercises which have these durations inside and sum them up. And now comes the easy part to simply display this information here inside. So we have a header and then this description and therefore I simply create a column to display two texts under each other and we first of all create here our name of our exercise and then we also put here some style inside. Then we also create some spacing and again some text for these other information. So we put here how many exercises we have inside and also the total minutes. Now we have here all these information of our exercises inside like the title and also this description and we also see here all the other exercises below. Let's also polish here everything up. Therefore I go here to the column and I put here this cross axis alignment to start to actually align it here to the left side and then it will look like this. And we also want to set here the main axis alignment to center so that it is centered within our cart. To accomplish this design here we actually want to also put here some image next to it and therefore we have here some space for this text and some space for this image. And how we do it, we go here to the build method and put here an expanded around our text. And we also want to create here an expanded around our image. And here we basically set the image URL of our exercise inside. And this will look then like this. So we have always these images here on the right side. And this will then take here 75% of the width. And the image will take 25% of the width. Lastly, we want to create here also this background color and also make it rounded. Later, we want to make this also clickable. Therefore, I wrap it already here around a gesture detector. And now we want to actually add also some padding. So if we add here some padding, then it will look like this. And we also want to set here basically a decoration to set a color first of all. And every exercise has here a different color, which I have set. And then you see that we have here already all the exercises. And you can also make it rounded by calling this border radius. And I set here, for example, 16 inside and then all of these are rounded. And basically I want to show you also where this color is coming from. So basically inside of our exercise sets we have here every time this name, this image URL which is then here displayed which is linking to our assets folder. So I have here all the assets inside which we then display. So for example we display here this image here and this is then later displayed here inside. And next to it, we also have for each individual tile here a specific color, which I have set for each of them. Lastly, we want to go to our exercises widget, which displays here this whole list of our exercises. And we want to increase here the spacing between our items. So we simply go to this column where we display them. And then we want to wrap this exercises set widget inside of a new widget. And here we basically set a container. And this container has then a margin, like you can see. And we set here a vertical margin so that we have some space on the top and also on the bottom. And this results then in that we have here some space between our elements. And now everything is working here pretty fine. So if I click between these items, then he will also change the type and shows us here different exercises. And lastly, we also want to make it here swipeable. So if we swipe here to the left or right side, then we want to change between our difficulty levels. And therefore I simply go here to this build workouts method where we basically display here all these tiles inside and this is what we want to make swipeable and therefore I wrap this column inside of another gesture detector and here we can set then this on horizontal drag end and this will then register the horizontal interaction and inside of it we can create our swipe function. So let's create this method swipe function and here we get actually the details of our swiping 
First of all, we want to get the current selected index. So here we have 0, 1 and 2 because we have here an enum and basically each enum has here this index 0, this 1 and this 2. And now we want to get out of this exercise type our index and therefore we simply put here our selected type inside. So to sum it up again, here the selected index will then have the value of 0, 1 or 2 depending on which index we are currently. Depending on this selected index, we can then determine if we can swipe more to the right or to the left. So if we have more on the right side and therefore I simply look here up if we have enough elements to the right side. And the same thing works for the other side. So here we make sure that we can swipe actually to the other direction to the left side and that enough elements are on the left side. And now comes the easy part. So we basically want to put all the things together. So here we check if we swipe to the left side and if we also have here more things on the right side. And then we get here our next type and this is what we get by the exercise type. So we have here our selected index which is for example right now 1 and we increase it by 1 and then we get here this exercise type. And this will then go here for example to this type. And the last part is then to actually override our current selected type with this next type which we have put inside. So basically if I now swipe here then you see that he is going to the next type and I can also go here from easy and swipe here again and then he will always go to the next type. For the other swipe direction we do exactly the same thing but we do it here with the other direction and we check that we have here some previous element and if that's the case then we determine here our previous element by the selected index. So we go every time to minus 1 to the left direction and then we also set this previous type to the current selected type. And now we can swipe here to both sides easily. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!